All right, what's up guys? Enrique here, broker and team leader with PRG Real Estate again. Uh, I'm actually got a special guest today, Mr. Costa Panagulius. I hope I didn't butcher that, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Costa and I met a, a few weeks back. Um, Costa's with Web4 Realty and I'll let him talk about that in a second. And he offers uh, kind of website solutions and marketing solutions for real estate agents. So I thought it'd be a great idea to bring him on as a guest to just talk a little bit about kind of you know, what's working, what's not working, you know, maybe some tips for, for new agents, for seasoned agents and on, on how to take their marketing to another level. So welcome to the, uh, the show, Costa. How's it going, man? Thanks so much, man. Nice to see you, speak with you again. Yeah, absolutely, man. So Costa, quickly tell us, I guess, give me some background on you, man. What do you, what have you been up to? What's Web for Realty all about? And uh, where was, what's your area of expertise, so to say? Yeah, for sure. So Quick intro on myself. So I'm a father of two, a husband, an entrepreneur. I, I run a company called Web for Realty. Uh, we help real estate agents all over uh, North America uh, with their online presence and, and marketing tools and generating leads online. Um, we've been around uh, almost 10 years now. So we're almost at the decade mark. And uh, yeah, we, we, we help uh, thousands of realtors uh, across the U.S. and Canada with, with uh, their web presence. Wow, man, that's, that's awesome. So being in it 10 years and working with thousands of agents, I mean, you've probably seen it all, right? You've, you've probably yeah, seen, oh, yeah. <laughs> seen the, the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, yeah. seen everything. So, and a lot has changed over 10 years. So it's, it's a fast moving industry for sure. Got it. Got it. So I guess let's start off by talking about that. Let's talk about where the industry is at today. Like some of the agents that you're working with or agents that you see who are excelling at a high level, um, you know, where are they, what are they doing? What's, what's the marketing look like? What's important today when, when marketing yourself as an agent? Oh man, where to start? Um, you know, as you know, with real estate, it's a very competitive market. It's a very saturated industry. So I think first and foremost, it's important to, to stand out uh, online and not be so uh, cookie cutter. I think brand is very important and it starts with a very, you know, unique custom looking website. Um, I think that that's key. But beyond the website part, which, you know, I think is, is a necessity nowadays, it's, it's all about providing value to your audience and, and really, you know, picking um, a segment or a, or a niche of, of potential customers and people you're trying to reach and, and really provide value to them. Um, and the best way to do that, I think is with, with content, you know, such as with what you're doing with, with podcasts and providing valuable information and blogs and, um, you know, the content can be in, in a lot of different forms now. So, uh, and, and, you know, so, so leveraging your website with, with valuable content and making sure you're reaching the, the right audience. Got it. Got it. And there's so much, there's so much to that, right? There's a lot involved yeah. in creating content. And there's people obviously starting off at different levels, right? You got your brand new agents who are just getting in the game who, who've never done any sort of marketing, right? And they're probably, a lot of people are probably like, where do I start? What should I do? Do I, do I need a website right away? So what can you speak to that for the brand new agent? Like what should they be doing in the beginning? Yeah. You know, just to, first of all, I don't think there, there's a right or wrong, right? So I think everyone has their own uh, methods. Uh, me personally, I think this is probably the consensus though across the board is uh, nowadays, I think you do need a website. It's like no matter what business you're in, whether you're a small bakery shop or a corporation or, or in real estate, like you need a website. It, it does add credibility. It's something that, you know, it's, I think, mandatory nowadays. Um, so, you know, first and foremost, you're a new agent, like get a website, make sure it's, you know, looks good. It reflects your brand and your style. Um, and then it's, it's, you know, in regards to marketing, there's so much you can do, like you said, and there's no right or wrong. You, you really got to find what works best for you. Like some, some people really focus and go hard on content and social media and, and you know, um, posting stories and Instagram posts every single day, multiple times a day. And over time, you know, I, I've seen so many cases where that works and it just snowballs. Um, but I think the most important thing people have to realize is, uh, with business in general, and especially with real estate, like it, it's a marathon, it's not a race. And, and people expect quick results really fast. And, 
you know, when it, when they don't see that, they think, Oh, social media doesn't work or, Oh, my website doesn't work when it's been like two months, you know, you, you got to (laughs) really take time. Like this is a long uh, marathon and it's a journey, but you got to start. That's the main thing. You just got to, you got to start and taste different things. And I can, I can attest to that. And I agree with that a hundred percent is, is there's different ways to do it. Find what you like, find what you enjoy. If you love video, do video. If you love podcasts, do podcasts. Yeah. If you love blogging, do blogs, right? I think, but get really good at that, right? I think that's kind of what I tell some of my newer agents that are, that I'm training is pick something and, and get really good at it. Um, I, I put out content, you know, I, I, I send it out to, you know, my friends, family, uh, my peers and stuff. And it's funny because oftentimes, you know, I've been doing this for years now and, and some, some videos will get a lot of views. Some videos don't get many views. And you think there's not that many views. That wasn't a good video, you know, or yeah. maybe, oh, that video sucked or whatever. And then, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, I, I get a, a call from an agent who wants to potentially join our team. And he's like, I saw one of your videos and it really inspired me. And that was one of the videos that didn't get so many views. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> it turned into something and, and you just never know. So I think the consistency is key, right? Just continuing to do it. Yeah. You know, speaking on that a little bit, I, I think people get too caught up in, in like the likes and the views. And, you know, I really don't think that's important. I, I think in this case, you know, your, your target's very specific. So it's really quality over quantity, in my opinion, and just consistent consistency. Like you said, I think that's, that's the main ingredient here is just being very consistent. And, you know, if likes and views are important to you, like over time, if you're consistent, that will increase hundred percent. Yeah. No, definitely. I, I, I agree. Now let's talk about social media. You mentioned social media in there. Um, I find that it's kind of like split 50, 50. There's agents who are like, I love social media. And there's some agents who are just frightened by putting themselves out there on social media. Yeah. What can you, you know, how can you speak on that? Like is social media a must today to be a successful agent? Um, um, what do you think? Yeah. You know, again, it's a, it's a, it's a tough one. Again, I'm, I'm speaking, um, again, I don't think there's a right or wrong. Some people, some agents, uh, love it. Some hate it some use it. Some don't, uh, personally, I think you gotta, first of all, take a step back and, and understand, uh, the psychology of people and just understanding human behavior and where people's attention are nowadays. I think the latest stat I read was, I think the average person spends, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's between six or eight hours a day on their phone. So most of that time is on social media, right? Instagrams and Twitters and Facebook. So knowing that your audience is on social media for six or eight hours a day, I think it it just logical and it makes sense that you have to be there as well and capture some of that attention. So um, to me, the, the answer is very easy. Like, you know, it's, it's a definite yes, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And it's a battle where I'm, I'm pushing our team, my agents, they're encouraging them like post more, post more. And I think, I think what it is also is some people are scared of what other people are going to think, right? They don't, yeah. they're afraid to offend people or they don't want to sound like a salesperson. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of some, some self, you know, self-conscious stuff. Um, and then I think the other thing too, is, um, people are, they post one time, if they don't get a a deal off of that, they think it doesn't work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, (laughs) yeah. yeah, Consistency, uh, is key. And, um, yeah, man, it's, it's really, that's what it is. It's understanding, you know, people's behaviors and and, and to add to that point with social media, um, it's a very, pe- people are, are bombarded with noise, like all the time with their feeds and just constant information. Um, so I think y- you have to be, you know, this gets more, maybe more advanced really, but you know, you, you gotta be smart on the content that you put out. And, you know, it, I think it's, it's harder now more than ever to capture someone's attention for even a few seconds with a constant stream of information that they're constantly consuming. Um, but, but to your point about people being sort of afraid and, and I was like that too, when I first started with social media, I think that's just like a natural human instinct to, to sort of, you know, Oh, I I wonder what people are going to think. But what I've realized is people are not paying that much attention to you. Like if you stumble (laughs) on a word or your hair's like out of place, like no one realizes that (laughs) except for you. So, um, Yeah. yeah, over time you, you record a few videos, like you really don't even think about it anymore 
Yeah, no, that's true. And what I told one of my teammates is I was like, hey, man, the way you look, that's what you look like, bro. You can't change yeah. that. I go, when people see you in person, they're going to see what you really look like. So just yeah. get over yourself. No one's tripping off of, you know, what your hair looks like, you know. I'm not going to lie. You know, professional. I, I, <laughs> before this episode, I was like, I, was, I didn't even put anything in my hair. I was going to, but then I was like, you know what? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think as long as you're providing value, right? All yeah. that stuff doesn't really matter. Exactly. Right? So on the on the thought of value and, and, and social media, what should agents be posting? You know, what do you think is a good formula or recipe or what kind of content should people put out there? I mean, I think it starts with with what your strategy is with social media, you know, whether it's like for generating leads or just brand awareness. I think, um, you know, you got to sort of straddle both. But um, I think the key one for me is is brand awareness and just being front of mind with with people every day. You know, Enrique, he, he's he's out here. He's posting like, you know, subconsciously people are, are thinking about you. Um, even when they don't even realize it when it comes to real estate, because they're, they're constantly seeing your stories and your posts online. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I, I, I don't know what you should do, but I know what you shouldn't do. I, I personally don't think people should be posting just hundred percent listings or like listings they just sold or like listed because 99% of your audience is probably not looking to buy or uh, sell right now so those posts about what you're listing or sold like to them is pretty meaningless um so you know add some some of your personal stuff and you know you know what you're doing it's more for like that the brand awareness and just being front of mind and obviously sprinkling in you know some of your your, your you know your, your work related stuff as well so yeah you know what i find is is when i post a lot of different things you know different types of content and i find that the ones that get me the most engagement are the ones where I'm just being real and honest yeah. and yeah, maybe so. talking about a talking about a failure or talking about something that happened on a transaction and how we were able to navigate that. I think people always are, are rooting for you, right? If they're your friends or your family and they like you, they're rooting for you. So when they see you going through something, they see you win, you know, and, and share that with them, they become part of that story, yeah. right? They become they yeah. You know, so I think those get the most engagement for some reason. And if you throw in a cute dog or I throw in my, one of my kids, like those, it just blows yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I can attest to that too. Like the, the, any single post that I made as well um, that has gotten the most engagement have been just like the transparent, like real ones, more like personal, um, you know, but, but with that being said, I think it's for, for me, at least it's hard to be constantly like open and transparent like that with every post. Yeah. Uh, so if you could do that, I think, you know, your engagement's going to uh, skyrocket. So, yeah, I like to mix it up. You know, it depends what mood you're in, right? Sometimes you're, yeah. you're going through something or you had a transaction that drove you crazy and it's therapeutic to get that off your chest yeah. sometimes, right? Or like sure. Just put it For out sure. there. Yeah. You know, sometimes you're feeling funny. So you want to do something funny, you know? So I think mixing it up where people are going to get a variety from you. It, it, to me, it, that's worked. It's worked really well. Yeah. J just to, to add to that as well. I know we're talking about this at length, but um, I don't think that there's, there's a, there's a rule book here. Like I think we're every single person is just trying to figure it out themselves. So like, you know, what someone says you should do, like, you know, don't really take it too literally. Like we're all trying to figure this out and you know, there's no right or wrong. You just got to do it. You know, that's what it comes yeah. down to. Definitely, definitely. So let's talk about, um, I guess, to kind of, you know, end off our segment, I wanted to keep this kind of short and concise and give people the meat and potatoes. But let's talk about the websites, right? So the stuff that you guys do, what's what's some of the things that you see that are that are working right now when it, in terms of website or what's what should you have on your website, right? Or there's certain pointers when creating a website. Yeah. So, uh, we, we, there's three core products we provide. One is the website and then we offer a CRM and an email marketing solution. So they're all bundled up together and work together. So specifically with the website, you know, what I think, uh, people should do first of all is, uh, you gotta have an IDX website. So have listings feeding through your website. Uh, to me, that's key. Um, that's like the equivalent of having an e-commerce store without any products, right? It's like, what's the point? <laughs> So, yeah. so have a good IDX website that's feeding listings from your real estate board and like your listings will, will feed automatically. So it's, it's efficient. You don't have to do that manually. So I think that's important. 
Uh, and then um, what, what I think works or what I see works is um, really people filtering down. So, so rather than having a general listings page, break it down into cities or communities or counties that you specifically work in. So, so that helps, uh, w w you know, with SEO, you're adding unique pages to your website. And at the same time, it's providing uh, value and ease of use for visitors on your website to search those specific listings rather than having to, to do a manual search themselves. Um, so that, that's all, you know, part of our solution and it makes it easy for people to create these custom listings pages, uh, which does help with uh, SEO as well. So, so that's like the, the main tip I would say. Um, and just adding content regularly to your website, right? Like post your blogs, post if you're doing a podcast, you know, link the podcast on your website. So just keeping it fresh and updated. But I think the, the listings pages are, are key, in my opinion. Excellent, excellent. And do you think you should be kind of sharing your content on, on multiple pages? Like if it's on your website, should it also go on YouTube and all the different social medias or what's kind of a rule of thumb? Uh, yeah, I think so. you should just put it everywhere, right? Again, look back to people's attention. Like YouTube is probably the, the I can't remember, maybe two or three most popular website in the world. So it's like, why wouldn't you post your stuff there or, or on yeah. you know, Facebook and Twitter? So, so yeah, I think you, you definitely should for sure. Got it. Got it. Um, I guess to kind of wrap up, what's, what's the main, you know, if we had to summarize, like what's some main piece of advice, you know, for an agent in, in terms of marketing or how they should, should view marketing any closing thoughts that you can give to our, to our listeners? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I sort of have a motto, which is, uh, ready fire and then aim. Most people like to, you know, get ready. They like to aim and then they like to fire, but you know, most people get too caught up in trying to make things perfect. So rather than overthinking, like just do it, you know, if, if it's something in your head, you want to try out, stop trying to analyze it and just test it, just do it. Um, you know, there's no penalties for that. And, uh, yeah, I just see way too many people just get too caught up in overanalyzing and overthinking. So, uh, main point, just, just do it, you know, ready, fire, <laughs> and then figure it, figure it out after you've done it. Yeah. I, I, I can attest to that, man. It's, it's, you know, to me, like style and how it looks is important, but, uh, I know that when I focus too much on that, I, I move a lot slower. Yeah. By the time I perfected this one video, I could have put out five videos already. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially yeah. If, if people are not going to be watching the whole thing or they're just kind of browsing through them, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Exactly. So, yeah, that's what I would say. Just do it. Good, good stuff, Casa. Well, hey, I appreciate you coming on, man. I, I think this was, there's a lot of good information, a lot of good nuggets for, for agents at, at different levels, whether they're new, whether they're seasoned, whether they're trying to refresh their marketing. Um, but what I took away was, man, just do it. Just put yourself out there and don't overthink it. Um, how do people get a hold of you? Uh, yeah, the website is web4realty.com. That's web, the number four, realty.com. Um, that's, you can learn about uh, the company and what we offer and like a link to our podcast as well. Um, so yeah, web for realty. I'm on, you know, Twitter personally, Costa Pana and, um, yeah. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. So there you go, guys. If you guys need any website solutions or just want to maybe, you know, get connected with Costa and find out what you can do to step your game up on the, the marketing stuff. Uh, Costa is a, a great resource. So hope you guys enjoyed this content. We'll be bringing you some more soon and we'll talk to you later. Bye.